The Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 24, verses 13 to 35. Now, that very day, two of them were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And Jesus replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus of the Nazarene who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And beside all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described. But Jesus they did not see. And Jesus said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, Jesus interpreted to them but referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So Jesus went in to stay with them. And it happened that While he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. A rather long gospel, but I think the key word here is hope. Um, They had a hope that Jesus would free, deliver, save the Jews from oppression of the Romans. It was a political salvation 
that they had in mind. So I imagine they lost their dream, they lost their hope when Jesus died on the cross. They said, it's all over. We thought he would help us, that he would be the one to deliver us from all this oppression of the Romans. But he's dead. So they decided to return to their home village. Very disappointed. And uh, it was during their journey back to their home village that Jesus uh, joined them, although they didn't recognize Jesus at first. And um, he said, what are you talking about? And the, as I just read, they said, well, are you the only one here in uh, Jerusalem that doesn't know what's going on about this crucifixion of what we thought was going to be the Messiah? And then Jesus opened up, you might say. He says, how foolish you are. How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke. You know, there's a lot of meaning in those words. God the Father, our Heavenly Father, sent Jesus into the world. Not to live, but to die, you might say. To save us through his death on the cross. And all the prophets from Vold, they referred to that in some mysterious way, some very clearly, others not so clearly, but it all was leading up to the crucifixion and the salvation of mankind, according to the love plan of our Heavenly Father. Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, Jesus interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures, as I just read. Well, they were really impressed. And as they were getting close to Emmaus, their home village, and Jesus gave the impression that he was going to go on, going on a little further, they said, don't go, stay with us, it's getting towards evening and uh, it's going to get dark, so stay with us. So he went in with them and um, they set a table and they were going to have a meal and Jesus took bread and he said the blessing and he broke it and he gave it to them. And with that, their eyes were opened, it says, and they recognized him, Jesus. But then he vanished from their sight. Well, this was truly a mystical experience. And they said to each other, weren't our hearts burning within us when he spoke to us on the way? about the scriptures. Now it all makes sense. And now we realize why he died on the cross and came back to life. So they set out at once, returned back to Jerusalem where they found the others, the eleven and the others who said that the tomb was empty and the angels said he is alive. They went to them and they said, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. And then they recounted everything that took place along the way. Hope. That is so important. It's like the oxygen in the air. If we don't have oxygen, we will suffocate. We will die. If we don't have hope, spiritually, psychologically, we die. And perhaps that is the very reason why so many people today, why they choose death rather than life. Why there are so many suicides. Because they have lost 
the oxygen of their soul, hope. We should pray for hope. And our hope is in the resurrection of Jesus. He lives. And he says, whoever believes in me, even if he should die, will still live eternal life. I have come to give life and to give it in abundance. And this he did through his death and resurrection on the cross. So today, let us remember this beautiful gospel. If you have time, look it up. Luke 24. And um, think about it. Meditate it on about, about it. And pray about it. God bless you. Have a great day. And till the next time. Goodbye.